this might be a better angle. So you've got this screw here, this one here, and this one here. Same on this side, one, two, three. Take those screws off. Next, we pop this off here. This will probably be pretty dusty and you want to pull off any hair that's kind of accumulated around these ends. So pop that off. Next, with your smaller tip screwdriver, there's a good angle of it there, um, we need to take off this plate here. One here, one here. Six total screws. Um, good a time at any is to take this out. And now that we have these off, this will just pop right off. And now this will separate. Oh, forgot one thing. I'll remove these. At this point, the unit will separate. So as we separate this, we gotta be careful of some wires. Let's see how this wire shows up. So we need to pull this out here, and then this one comes off of here. This will pop off also. Move those out of the way. Now, when you remove that, this is probably going to be covered with dust everywhere. I already blew this out once, but um, you'll probably have quite a bit of dust in here. So in my opinion, you should get some shop air and just blow it out. Or if you have uh, one of those air setups that um, uh, spray can air that they have... Uh, for like keyboards and things on computers, that would be another good thing. A purist might suggest that blowing shop air over this has some danger to it for static electricity, but uh, I mean, I've been doing it for a while now. I haven't had any issues, so I don't anticipate it being a big problem. I think the dust is worse than the static problem. 